our third and final selection in today's episode sees 19th place Wolverhampton Wanderers playing hosting 17th place Crystal Palace. And in Wolves' last game, Brighton must have thought they had won the match after Ferguson added to Welbeck's earlier strike, with the Seagulls leading 2-0 after 85 minutes. Credit where it's due, as Wolverhampton did not give up, they did not surrender the game, and in the 88th minute, 8 Nori gave them a glimmer of hope. This hope was realised in the 93rd minute as Mateus Cunha scored an equaliser right at the death, 2-2 the final score. In terms of form, Wolves are winless in nine, and there is a lot of speculation around O'Neill's job, but the late comeback does show that he hasn't lost the dressing room, the players haven't downed tools, and he's still in for a job here. They play a Crystal Palace side who picked up their first win of the season in their most recent match against Spurs. Mateta's strike in the 31st minute was the main difference, and it was really a chance of Spurs' making as they failed to play it out from the back, ending in disaster with the Mateta goal. Based on the 1-0 scoreline, you may expect that Crystal Palace held out for the win, but it was actually the Eagles that were more keen to add a second goal to the affair. In the second half, they outshot Spurs 7-3, resulting in double the XG. In terms of form, this result did break Palace's eight-game winless streak, and they are now out of the relegation zone, as Ipswich Town drop in to keep Wolves and Southampton company. In terms of the head-to-head -head records, Palace won the previous game 3-1 at Molyneux. Elise and Mateta saw Palace take a two-goal lead, into half-time before Cunha started a comeback in the 66th minute. However, these hopes of a comeback were quickly dashed with Eze adding a third for Palace in the 73rd minute. His strike secured all three points for the Eagles. In fact, Palace won both games last season and they've also won six of the last seven Premier League games as well. My prediction for this game, with this record and their first win of the season, it would lead a lot of people to back Crystal Palace here. But I've not been very convinced by them this year. Similarly, I can't back Wolves on account of their dire form, but I am looking at goals today. Wolves have sent over two and a half goals in, in each of their last six Premier League games and each of their last seven across all competitions. On the other hand, Crystal Palace have sent over two and a half goals in just one of the last five, but in two of the last three away games in all competitions. In terms of the head-to-head -head record, three of the last four Premier League games and four of the last five encounters, if you include this summer's friendly, have seen over two and a half goals. And all of this is leading me towards over two and a half goals. Both sides have shaky defences, which I don't trust. So I'm going to be backing this for a full stake in the final bet of the episode.